what's going on YouTube? I would resin through through here. Today I'm going to be doing my 2018-2019 bass fishing tackle and gear review. Uh, I got two rods here today, which I'm going to be showing you. And let's start off with showing you guys my tackle bag. This is a Cabela's. I don't know what make it was. I paid 80 bucks for this at uh, I think Cabela's in Ohio. I paid for it. First, let's start off with. Hard baits, crank baits, and jack baits. We're gonna start off with the Cotton Cordell Big O's that I have. Uh, I've got this in like a white with a bleeding gill color. I got this one in a Fire Tiger. Another one in like a Fire Tiger color. A white shad. And I actually got two of these ones. These are crawfish colored. These all run from probably five to six feet, depending on how fast you retrieve them or how slow. Moving on, I got my KVD series crankbait. These are all 5.0s, I believe. Got this one in like a bluegill pumpkin seed color. I got another KVD 5.0 and a baby bass. And one more KVD and a chartreuse. And a Berkeley Pitbull 5.5 in a crawfish color. Really good looking design on here. <clears throat> I got this Rapala Husky Jerk in a perch color. Then I got two deep divers I usually use for trolling in a crawfish and a sexy shad. I got this live target, I believe. Uh, soft shell bluegill swim bait. Really good colors on here. The only thing I don't like about this bait is it is a little heavy and the treble hook is not that large. And I've had problems with the hookup ratio on this. Next I got probably one of my favorite lures in there, just you know, the paint job or craftsmanship, whatever you want to call it. This is a Rapala BX Swimmer 12, this is a 12 inch lure. I use this for pike and muskie. I actually caught my first tiger muskie on this. Like I said, it's got really good colors. Swims really well in the water. I think this retails for about 15 to 16 bucks. And then I got this cheap jerk bait. Because I just uh, started out this year trying to use bait casters. And a lot of people use jerk baits on bait casters, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Moving on next box we're going to go over to the soft plastics <clears throat> all right starting out uh my main soft plastic i use are senkos these are gary on motos this is in like a light brown with black flakes black and red flakes these are five inch senkos Got another one in a green pumpkin with a chartreuse tip. Also five inches, and then I got a straight green pumpkin with black and blue flakes. Moving on to my drop shot plastics, I got a KVD Dream Shot. I believe this is in like a pearl neon blue color. These work really well. And then I picked up another KVD series soft plastics. This is can't remember of the uh, the name that they call these, but these work really good for smallmouth. And then I got some Berkeley Power Baits. These are black with purple flakes, purple and blue flakes, and those work really good on rivers for smallmouth. <clears throat> Moving on, we'll go. 
to if I can get it out. My internal tackle, which I really need to restack on. I run these trocars and four three aughts. And my personal favorite wider gap worm hook for cycles are these VMCs and four to three aughts. I really like these because they got the uh <clears throat> focus like a rubber coating around the eye so your line won't get cut off and then I also got the same style VMC's and a straight worm hook I believe these are one or two watts and I just got a couple little sinkers up top a couple drop shot weights some swivels and some older weights just in there for carp and catfish and stuff. <clears throat> Alright, moving on to my last box I got in here. I don't usually use this stuff a lot in this one. Just because I like soft plastics and crankbaits. Uh, we'll start off with some Lunker Hunt uh, frogs. Real good looking color. The legs go like that in the water when you retrieve it. Real nice. I actually got another one of those. Then I got two Cabela spinner baits. This is in a white uh, with a silver and gold lid. And then I got a chartreuse one with a gold and a silver lid. Then I got a Storm GT search bait. I believe this is the one fourth ounce. Right there. In a blue and silver color. Then I got a Strike King jig with a Gary Omoto Swimtail Sanko trimmed for the trailer, which works really good for a smallmouth hiding behind rocks. And then I got this old handmade top water bait for pike and muskie from my great great grandpa. Really old. <clears throat> that's it for my lures like I said I gotta restock a little bit that's after bass season and uh, we're gonna show you guys a couple of my rods it's gonna be hard to do because they're all longer so this is a Blues Mach 2 spinning rod and reel combo I think I paid like 240 for it I got uh, this is a 6.9 foot rod it's not a seven footer, which is kind of bummed me out, but as you guys can see it, I read all the specs on it. The focus for you guys. It's a medium action. It's a little blurry, but. <clears throat> well down. I just got the hook stuck in it. All right. Next, I got this bait caster. This is a Gander Mountain uh, Vortex reel. I have a Rapala jerk bait on there, and I have this Gander Mountain reel on a Shakespeare. Rod. I believe this is a this is only a six foot medium action. Like I said, I didn't know if I was really gonna like the bait casters. I just started it this year enough. and uh I might end up buying a new one. Uh stay tuned, I'm gonna be doing my first giveaway at 100 subscribers and I'm gonna give a quick shout out to two people. Number one is Trapper J Outdoors. He has a lot of good videos out there and he's been helping me out a lot on my channel, giving me tips and pointers. And Hunter in the Great Outdoors, he's one of my good friends at school. He's also just starting out. If you guys can go check them out, it'd be greatly appreciated. And please make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.